Seeing so many six gills together this deep is just incredibly rare. Initially, they seem wary of the sub and its bright lights, but not for long. They soon become much more inquisitive. There's another one right in front of me. I literally could reach out and touch it. Look, 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 look. Look! Oh, he's hitting the sub! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Look at that, look at that. We're so close, I didn't think we'd be this close. I mean, the entire sub is moving. I mean, they are, they are shouldering up against us. The whole sub just rocks back and forth. Look at this. He just rammed the sub. Oh my. If, if that doesn't get your heart beating fast, I don't know what will. And I don't know, maybe they're picking up the electrical signals that we're giving off in the submarine. There's a lot of hardware on board, and sharks have the ability to pick up electrical signals. Sensors in the shark's heads detect even the tiny electrical signals in their prey's nerves. And that animal's mouthing this up, making me very nervous. Soon, the six gills are no longer satisfied with just bashing against the sub. <gasps> what was that? Well, that can't be good. You know what I think it was? His teeth on the front of the sub. He came up and bit the front of the, the sub. We got three giant sharks that I see, but I mean, there was a very distinct, loud noise, which scares me. I was nervous enough about just coming down here in a homemade sub. I didn't realize we'd have a five meter shark biting it too. He bit the front of the sub. Boy, that, that's not a confidence builder. <laughs> 